Hi, what is your name? Hendrik. Hendrik, how old are you? 15, about 16 this year. This year, okay. Um, Hendrik, how do you feel about what's going on in South Africa as a young person growing up here? Well, to be honest, I, I'm actually scared of what my future is going to be like. Is it? Um, why do you say that? Yes, too much black people and not enough white people in this country. Mm -hmm. and, and why does it affect you so much? Um, is it because of the violence and the farm murders and the home invasions? Yes. How do you feel about the farmers that are being butchered like this? It makes me angry. Mm -hmm. And my rooms want it to happen to everyone except but they must stop killing us, they must stop helping us and not want to kill us. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about um, the education in South Africa? There must also be enough education for the blacks as there are for the whites. Mm -hmm. You want the same equal opportunities, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Okay. Um, how is your home life? Um, does your dad work? No, he's... He lost his job? Yes, uh, got in February. In February, oh, that's awful. So, um, I presume you guys suffer and struggle with food every day? Yes. How do you feel when you when you see your parents struggle to, to support you guys? It makes me sad. Sure. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? A motor mechanic. A motor mechanic, wow. Um, do you think that you'll find a job in South Africa after studies? No. Why do you say that? Because the black people are taking over all the jobs in this country. South Africa. So you see no future for yourself here? Yeah? Yes. And if, if given the opportunity, would you, um, after your studies maybe, would you want to go and live and work in another country? No. No. I'd rather work here, but if I must, I will go work there. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to me, and I wish your family all the best of luck. Thank you. Right. Hi, what is your name? John. John, John, how old are you? 11 years old. 11 years old. Um, I hear that you had a break-in in your home. Yes, they steal my bike and my dad's generators and his tool. They stole your bike, generator and his tool. So now you don't have a bicycle anymore? Yes. How did you feel when they, they broke in? I was very sad. They they stealing my bike and I was very sad. You were very sad. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Were you scared? Yes. Oh, no. Well, um, I, I, I thank you for, for talking to me. And we'll try and make a plan and see if we can't find you a new bicycle. Okay. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. okay. Hi. Um, what is your name? My name is Marta. Hi, Marta. Um, can you tell me w what do you feel um, like about the future for you and your family in South Africa. What are you experiencing at the moment with regards to um, employment and job opportunities and um, the violence? Okay, firstly, I Imp don't see anything for now. Mm -hmm. Because the job opportunities is lesser, every company is closing down, mm -hmm. people struggle to get head above water, mm -hmm about the food is rising every day mm -hmm. so um if we doesn't get sponsors and things to help us then we, we can't do it okay. so there's nothing more like in south africa anymore mm -hmm. to say there's a future for our children yeah do you get any assistance from the government with food and and um, uh, any help no nothing. it's on, only the sponsors people okay. from outside oh the community the around community, you yeah the churches and okay. so on all right um what are all your feelings about the farm murders and the attacks that are taking place that is terrible yeah they can really put something more to make more to awareness yes awareness do you think that. that the government is just allowing it or d um, um, do you think they are just um, ignoring it or, or do you think they're trying to rectify the, the issue or the problem 
Um, I will say they doesn't do anything at all. Mm. Usually with the farmers, they mm. they get the news, then they doesn't do anything about it. They just leave it. Mm -hmm. How long does it take for the police to come out in such an instance? Long. You wait long. Days, hours. Maybe hours. Sometimes days. And sometimes they never pitch. Yeah, never <laughs> pitch sometimes. That's horrible. And we do have now a community also that is working together, mm -hmm. like a Zello. Mm -hmm. I don't know if someone heard about them. Yes. If you call them on Zello, they come immediately if they can. Okay, they it's like a people. farm watch. Yes. Okay. They also rotating on, on their own. They're also rotating. Yeah. On um, how do you have you ever been to a government hospital and what have you experienced when going to a gov government hospital in South Africa? Uh, yes, I was a few times all in government hospitals. My mom was also admitted there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, maybe 21 years back, mm -hmm. the services was good. Mm -hmm. But since then, it's not good. The yeah. cleaning inside the hospitals is terrible. The toilets. Oh. You must go and have a look yourself. Oops. Then you will see the blankets. Even now, if you must go to hospital, you must take your own blankets. Wow. So yeah. there's no blankets, mattress Nothing. and food. You've got to take your own food, I hear, sometimes. Yes, sometimes they, they say you must bring your own things. Mm -hmm. But they, they did give in the mornings and afternoons. Yeah, but and the but food less. quality? The quality is not so good. Is it? it wasn't so good. Okay. Um, how many children do you have? Or um, I see you've got a little grandson. Yes, I do. Oh, I've sure. got three children mm -hmm. and then one grandchild. Okay. And you look after them? Yes, okay. I do look after the grandchild. And then the youngest one also stays with me. Mm -hmm. And the little one's mother. Okay. She's also staying with me. Okay. What do you think about um, the employment um, in South Africa and the future? Uh, do you think employment should be addressed for white South Africans? Um, yes. or, or how do you feel? Yes, I, I think so. They must uh, um, put more opportunities also for the white people mm. also. So you say that you are directly affected by the BEE laws in South Africa that prohibits you from being yes. employed? Yes, I think so. Okay. All right. Well, I thank you so much for talking to me. Um, uh, I bless you and your family and have a wonderful okay. day. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Hi, uh, what is your name? Marty McPherson. Hi, Marty. Um, please, can you explain to me how you feel about the future of South Africa and, and uh, what what's going on in this country? What are your feelings about the violence and... The South Africans, uh, South Af yeah, yeah, but us is very dark mm -hmm. because why there is no normal work for uh, for our people. Yes, and the money what we um, earn earn is so little. We must survive with that. Yes, there is uh, times with you cannot survive because yeah. why the rent. And the food, the food, mostly the food prices coming up, up and down, up and down. Wow. And um, how do you see the education system and the, the future for the children or the young people finding jobs? It's very jobs? poor because why your skin is not black. Uh, your skin is not black. Mm. Uh, uh, black. Sorry about that. No. It's true. Yeah, it's a fact. It's a fact. Um, Mostly, this is my own son. Mm -hmm. He was uh, going to look after for work. Mm -hmm. When he came in there by the uh, place, he asked for the uh, uh, the person, "Is there any places?" Mm -hmm. He says no. But when the uh, uh, when the black man is coming, and the black man is get the job. Yeah, yeah. So whites are not being employed at all because of the B E E quota system. Yes. Um. I hear that you have been sitting without water for two days now. Very, two days. Wow. And when we found the municipality, they say now um, we must pay for that 
And the only uh, uh, person who's gated uh, is by the um, pluckers camp here by... Um, oh, the squatter spring. camp, the yes. black squatter camp. Yes. So they get the water for yes. free, but when you you There's ask for the water, you've call, got to pay. Calling, a calling of the community service or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. But what I'm asking is um, when y they bring water to you, you have to pay for the water. Yes, yes. Okay, but pay. they give it out free at the Black Squatter yes. Camp. Yes. And your community suffers as yes. well. Yes. Oh, that's very unfair. Um, well, thank you very much for, for talking to me, and um, I really wish you all the best for the future. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Um, can you please tell me who you are? Um, Susan Chapman. Okay, and... Um, what is this place? Um, um, we call it Summer Benelanders. It's um, located in Irland Street, number 36. All right. Um, and tell me, how many families do you have here? Twelve families living on this plot. Twelve families and children? Um, Sixteen children. Sixteen children. Um, tell me, what is the greatest need that you have in this, this area? Mostly food. Mm -hmm. And some clothes when people bring us some clothes. Yeah, We're especially very grateful now for that. That winter is on the way. Yes. Okay. Um, how do you feel about what's happening in South Africa with the unemployment of our white South Africans? You know, um, the people or our children is leaving matric. No work is been to be found. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult for people. It, they are struggling. So you know, you don't see any future for your no. children. In the country. No. So what do what do the young people do if they can't find work? You know, um, the young people on this plot, I give them some work, give them a, maybe a fifty rand or something to cut the grass, mm -hmm. so they keep themselves busy yeah. for some spending money for themselves. All right. Um, and tell me, how do you feel about the farm murders and the crime rate in South Africa? You know, it's 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 terrible. I mean, uh, no one, a lady of 86, 70 years can't defend herself. Yes, no, no, you don't feel safe anymore. Don't feel safe. Have no. you experienced any any such violence in your own home? Yes, about two months ago, they tried to break into the Wendy. They break into my Wendy and stole my, my husband's tools, the generator. Oh, goodness. Tried to get into a house, kick our door down. When we woke up the... The black guy was standing in my sitting room. Oh my word! I'm s I, I can imagine the fear that that you guys went through. Um, and uh, did the police come out? Do they come out when you call them? Well, uh, yeah, they did come out about mm -hmm. two days afterwards. Oh my word! Okay, and he was probably long gone. Yes, I mean uh, Spring Valley is just a few meters away from here, so mm -hmm. no sign of nothing. So there's no, there's no accountability and no, the police are not doing what they're supposed to be doing to catch these guys. I don't I think, think so, no. Okay. Well, how do you see the future for yourself? Do you feel, given the opportunity to maybe leave South Africa and start a new life in another country with your family, would you be able to do that um, at this stage? Um, or would you need help um, from overseas in order to do that? And would you, given the opportunity? Do you know, I think we, if we're given the opportunity to do, to do something like that, um, you are in your mid-40s, mm. so no one is going to take you for, for work. They'd rather take the young people. Mm -hmm. So stick where you stick so you must see what happens yeah so but if 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 given the opportunity to go and 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 take your family and go overseas and maybe claim asylum from another country would you go if if you had the opportunity i think so yeah okay well i thank you so much for your for your um feedback i really appreciate it thank you why are you feeling so emotional? Because this is my people. This is people that I care about. Maybe some of them don't think so, but it's really. If you, feel if you know you've got something to eat tonight, who said that the people next door got something to eat? It is, it's like that. You can't just throw them for the, 
for the dogs or the wolves to come and eat them. So then what do you do if there's no food? How do you, do you try and make a plan? Then we go from from flat to flat and say, hey, haven't you got a tomato? Haven't you got an onion? Let's help the people next door so that oh. they can eat as well. Oh, shame. So it's... I can see you're very emotional no, about it's, it. No, it's my people. I love all of them. Yes. Um, um, we're going to try and uh, bring you some donations tomorrow so in order to help you. It's, it's not permanent, but at least it will um, alleviate a little bit of your, of your situation. Thank you for talking to it's me. It's fine. Thank you very much. Hi, uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Johan Berenji. I'm from Woodbank. Okay. Uh, Johan, how do you feel about the economic situation in South Africa? as a white person. It's very uh, disturbing to think that we are white people in South Africa that, got, that don't get work at all. Mm. Sitting with N6, mm. I'm a man of 50 years old, I've got all the knowledge and experience in the world mm. concerning power stations, throughout to mining, throughout to, 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 to fabrication and uh, Steel, steel fabrication works, and there is just no works, no, no work for us in South Africa anymore. There is no uh, stability in South Africa anymore for us. Yeah. And on the end of the day, uh, our our families and our kids and grandchildren is, 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 uh, don't get any jobs. Yeah. There's no jobs for them. Yeah. The jobs that they get is they want to pay them a tip for doing. For, for, for doing work. Yeah. Now the other day I went for an interview, the guy said to me straight into my face, you've got all the qualifications in the world, but your skin color is not the right color. So they say that straight out to you? They said straight out into my face. Wow. So on the end of the day, it's, 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 I feel it's racism. Yeah. Uh, inequality, it's creating more inequality. Inequalities in, mm. in South Africa. Mm. and. For us, there is no future anymore. Mm. There isn't just there is no future for us in, in one South Africa. Um, how do you how do you feel about the farm murders and the home invasions? Have you personally experienced I any got, such violence? I got hijacked in Osmansburg. Mm. I got hijacked. I was standing at a robot and they tried to get into my car. And after I've beaten up this guy very uh, badly, mm. they made. Uh, assault case against me. But you had to defend yourself. But in South Africa they don't see it like that anymore. You can't even defend yourself anymore. If, if you defend yourself and you, you kill all of them or you beat some uh, some of them up, mm. they say it's, 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 it's not your right, it's not your place to do it. Wow. So on the end of the day I feel very disgusted in the way our legal system failed us. Mm. Since they took the death penalty away in South Africa, everything is just falling apart. Yes. Um, what are your feelings about the, the home invasions and the brutal farm murders that are taking place? It's, it's very shocking. It's very shocking. One of my friends that was working for me, or, or were working for me at the mines, mm -hmm. while I was a foreman there, uh, his uh, brother and little daughter and his dad, they killed him now a few weeks ago, it was full in, 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 in the news, oh, yeah. the little daughter of nine years old. Yeah. And on the end of the day, it's heartbreaking. I mean, where is that people? Where is that people? They've never been arrested. No, and and innocent lives are being for lost for for for, for, nothing. for race, racism. Yeah. For nothing. It's heartbreaking to see a, a grown man like you so emotional. Um, I can see that your people are close to your heart, and you fear for the for the safety of your family, and that's what you live every day in South Africa. No, I mean I've got four four grandkids, and uh, what are their future here? There is no future for them anymore. So you don't see any future for, no for future, your family? There is no future for, for nobody in South Africa anymore. Uh, there is crime, 
crime's got the upper hand, the upper hand in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And if you try to defend yourself or shoot somebody, it's... You are in the wrong. You are in the wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you, with the, with the farm murders, do you ever hear the guys or see their names on the paper? If a white kills a black, the, on the next next day's paper is photos, the, the whole front page, front, yeah. front page will, but you don't see the blacks that murdered the white people. Then. No, no. Nothing gets, no, no, nothing gets done to them. Yeah, it's, it's like there's a media blackout yes. on, on, yes. on Absolutely. these crimes. And the government, do you feel that the government is doing anything uh, to they investigate these murders? They, I, I, don't, I don't think so. If, now that, now that other